Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learn you good. Now today is a bit of a special episode, guys. No doubt a couple of weeks ago you heard about the new Adobe After Effects update and the new Content Aware Fill Option Effects plugin, whatever you want to call it. There's been a lot of talk, a lot of videos, and a lot of hype surrounding this new effect. But one thing people aren't talking about is that Boris FX and Mocha Pro have actually had a remove tool in their software for quite some time. And I thought it might be a good idea to compare the two and see how they can actually work together to get you a better result. Unity. And I also thought, who better to do that than Mary Poplin, the Mocha FX doyen at Boris FX. So today she's going to be guest hosting this tutorial. So take it away, Mary. Hi, I'm Mary Poplin with Boris FX. In this video, I'm going to talk about Content Aware Fill, a new feature found in Adobe After Effects, and how I feel this feature compares with Mocha Pro. As a Mocha product specialist, I have spent the last eight years teaching editors and artists how to motion track, rotoscope, and remove objects. As you might imagine, a question I keep getting lately is, how does the remove module compare and contrast to Adobe AE's content-aware fill for video? So, I'm going to show you some examples where content-aware fill excels, where you can use content-aware with Mocha to save time, and where you might consider using the Mocha Pro Remove module if you hit a snag with the content aware approach. One of the common misconceptions about content aware fill is the idea that content aware fill is just like the remove module. But there is a difference in both the technique and the internal algorithms used. I find there are strengths and weaknesses for both methods like any software tool. When content-aware fill plays to its strengths, it works wonderfully, especially on smaller objects that are clearly visible. All you need is a mask, a few button clicks, and you're good to go. And if you want to speed up your masking process, you can use the bundled Mocha AE or optionally Mocha Pro for a super quick tracked mask to assist the content-aware process. So already, I feel that Mocha and Content Aware are very complementary in regards to masking. So that being said, let's talk about some of the strengths of Content Aware. It's almost entirely automated, and all of the tracking and matching happens under the hood. You don't always have to make clean plates, as Content Aware Fill can generate missing data for you. And when it can't do this job cleanly, you can create reference frames from Photoshop to clone, paint, or patch in. Content Aware produces strong results when removing small to medium-sized objects on scenes that are easily camera tracked, and even can do well on complex organic backgrounds. It uses a combination of under-the-hood tracking and Adobe Sensei technology to predict the pixels to replace in the video, and it edge matches with a hard-edged mat to hide any imperfections in the fill. All you have to do as the user is define the area you want to remove with a mask, choose how you want to fill the sample pixels, and hit a single button. On some shots, you will need to provide a reference frame if Content Aware is unable to predict the background fill correctly, and you can move on with your shot if the results are good. So that sounds wonderful, and it is, but generally people want to know when and where does this process not always work. I have found that if your results are drifting, or if Content Aware could not place the pixels well, then you really do not have many controls exposed to tweak or finesse your shot. Shots that have excessive motion blur, shots that have lens warping, or hard to track backgrounds are going to give Content Aware some trouble with not much artist control. Removing larger objects or multiple objects that cover a large amount of background can also give unexpected results. Foreground occlusions of any kind can also throw content aware for a loop on fills. However, this can sometimes be avoided by over-removing objects and the objects that are occluding them in the same mask. When content aware gives unexpected results, this is where you can turn to Mocha. For Mocha Pro and content aware, removing small to medium objects on easily tracked backgrounds is going to give you very similar results even if they do work differently. But where Mocha Pro shines is on the shots that are not easily trackable by point or camera trackers. Shots where you need to exclude foreground occluding elements or large areas of the frame are something Mocha's layer system can handle quite easily. 
However, understand that the Remove Module workflow is not a one-click solution, and it requires some basic knowledge of both planar tracking and how the tool works. Think of the difference between Mocha's Remove and Content-Aware Fill as the difference between a specialist tool and an everyday user's tool. They're both useful, but they have different strengths. For instance, neither Mocha Pro nor Content-Aware is going to do a great job of consistently removing objects in front of fractal or organic data like crowds or water. Mocha Pro does not use content awareness to fill in an area. Instead, Mocha uses the pixels from the shot that move behind the object or clean plates that the artist defines, all based off our unique planar tracking algorithms. Mocha doesn't guess what those pixels should be, but essentially asks the artist to tell Mocha what those pixels are using a user-defined background plane and a user-defined foreground object. Both layers are powered by planar tracking, so the artist can automate the process as much as possible. So, the Remove module gives you a lot of control over what is being replaced and where. The artist can define the specific frames before or after that are being analyzed and control properties like illumination and interpolation to match lighting and refine your results. That means that if you are trying to remove large objects over a blurry, lens-warped, complex background like this shot, Mocha Pro's Remove module gives you the control you need to fill in the background based on a lockdown track that's going to be hard to get anywhere else. And if you're trying to remove an object that is obscured behind foreground objects like this car in the background, you might find Mocha Pro's Remove workflow will produce the fastest and cleanest results. If you're using a remove and replace technique for matte paintings, Mocha's remove module is great. Removing an object where shadows or reflections cross the surface is another example where the Mocha remove excels. If you're trying to remove over warping areas like clothing, you might consider the remove module as well. So these are some of the differences between Mocha Pro's remove module and After Effects Content Aware Fill. The tools use different techniques and produce very different results on difficult VFX removes. But on simpler, everyday shots, the tools can produce very similar results. Of course, if you are not working in After Effects, don't forget that Mocha Pro is also a multi-host plugin, bringing the remove workflow to Premiere Pro, Avid, Vegas, HitFilm, and many more hosts. I hope this helps you understand where Content-Aware excels and where Mocha comes in handy for object removal. As an effects artist with over 15 years in the industry, I am excited that simple tasks are becoming more automated so that we as artists can focus our precious time on the more difficult problem solving needed for complex shots, using the right tools for each job. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Find out more, including in-depth tutorials on the Remove module at borisfx.com. Thank you very much for that awesome explanation, Mary. I'm so glad you did it because <laughs> let's face it, you're much better at Mocha than me. Now guys, if you are interested in learning a bit more about what Mocha Pro can do, just click that link in the description and that'll take you straight to the Boris FX website and you can check it out for yourself. But for now guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Filmland. I hope that gave you some good insight as to the differences between Content Aware Fill and the removal tool in Mocha Pro and how they can work together. And if you did enjoy this episode guys, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it and it does help out. And leave a comment below if you do have a request for anything really. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single Filmland episode. We're gonna be back with some effects greatness very very soon so keep an eye out for that and we have two other episodes right over here i've got all my social media crap right here and as well as the patreon there if you want to support the channel or if you want to support it directly on youtube you can click that join button below but until i see you again guys keep learning <laughs>